Our model is designed to be accessible to all. Parents pay a nominal fee of five shillings, which is hardly four US cents, um, facilitated through a tap to eat payment system embedded in a watch like this that I'm wearing. Through this watch, and if you go around Nairobi, you'll see all our children wearing this watch. It's an NFC device. We're harnessing technology and data to make sure all our children are well fed. And of course, Nairobi, you know, is a silicon savanna. So being a hub of innovation, our young people are the ones who innovated this. And we're telling many things. For instance, we can tell if a child is skipping school through this technology. We can tell how often they're attending. Wastage is, zero, is close to 0% because we're using predictive analytics to prepare meals so that there's no extra. It is just enough for those schools that we're going. And it's more than that. The children refuse to remove this watch because it has given them identity. And when they go back home and on the weekends, they're still wearing this watch. They feel loved. They feel seen. They feel hard. And it gives them dignity. No child is pulled out of the school line in case the wallet doesn't have that five shillings. We take note of it and we pay for it. And I want to thank my friend Anod Balozi because thank you so much, Balozi. Your Excellency, last, when you did the Africa Climate Summit, I hijacked his minister called Chrisula and took her to Olympic Primary School and showed her what was happening. And you know, the children just are so happy. They mob you and they laughed with her. She gave us a million euros to feed 10% who can't afford. So we hope, we hope and note that that 1 million euros is also coming this financial year for the 10% who cannot, some can't even afford that five shillings. So please, Your Excellency, by reducing hunger, we have shown the impact. There's incre incre an increment in school attendance. In the past one year, um, enrollment has gone up by more than 34%. An example of a school you know, we've been with you together, Umoja One Primary, population has moved from 1650 to 2552, 2552, more than 900 students because of the introduction of this. We used to have 210,000 children in Nairobi schools, now there are 316,000 in our schools. And we want to thank you because now you pledged and you gave, you know, you didn't just say it, one billion shillings to Nairobi County to increase the classroom so that we can have more of these children coming um, to our schools. Everyone is asking, what do we do about Africa's young people? The first thing, obviously, is to secure their future through education, through keeping them in school, through feeding them. And that is why we see this as an African solution to a global concern. Launched last year um, in August 2023 with only 80,000 learners in 45 schools, the program has now grown to reach 310,000 learners in over 230 public schools in Nairobi in one year. In, that, in this first year, we have served, Your Excellency, 30 million meals in Nairobi County. The food is distributed in a hub and spoke model where we have different kitchens in different parts of the city um, and they cook every day and the meals are distributed to the schools surrounding them. We have a great partnership. We engaged and procured food for education and while we run zero is here, please stand up. We need to clap for you because of the work you're doing. She's a, she's a great partner because we believe in localized, homegrown solutions. Thank you so much, Wawira. Um, and, and they run the logistics of it. We provide the political leadership, we provide the, you know, the policy direction towards that. These kitchens, the 17 kitchens, Your Excellency, have become a backbone of a network dedicated to serve nutritious, affordable meals to these children. And some of them don't finish their food. They pack it and take it back home to their siblings and to their parents, and that's a sad reality. But thanks to our collaboration, we ensure that these meals are to the highest nutrition, highest standards of safety, because our children deserve nothing less. Your Excellency, we even made sure that we have, it is domiciled with a minister. So our health minister in Nairobi, our CEC, is in charge of school feeding, and she is here, uh, Susan Silentoy.